All right, so I'm gonna show you guys today my top six sorceries that I use in the game, and I think that these are the best sorceries. So I would definitely say these are the top sorceries in the game. Why? Well, I'll explain to you now. First of all, let's make one thing clear. You have 10 slots unless you use the talisman that gives you more slots. But basically, if you have run to your maximum, you have 10 slots. So how do you use them? I'm showing you right now. I have a spell for weaker to mid-level enemies. I have a spell for sniping. I have a spell for crowd control. I have a spell for harder enemies. I have two spells for like really hard enemies and three of these spells are also good for boss fights. On top of that, I have Golden Vow. But now let's get into it. So here we go. This is my number six that I would rank. We got the Great Glintstone Shard, which by the way got an upgrade in patch 103. So it has now double the range and more damage now we can see against harder enemies it does do you know somewhat all right but the main thing about this is that it doesn't use a lot of fp so it is really good for that reason and then we go we notice that against you know faster enemies that are harder it does still pretty good so all over this is an all over good spell to use now let's go to number five. At number five, obviously I have Loredo's Great Bow. This would be higher on the list if you don't have that many sorceries, but this is a definite must because with this, you get a great range of sniping enemies. And I'm talking about the great range. Like you could be almost twice as far as you are now and you would still hit this guy. So the only problem is that when you do the charged, attack that unfortunately takes a lot of time to charge so this is not something you should use at close range maybe not even at medium range but definitely at far away and you have to also keep in mind that what kind of enemy you are facing if it's a fast enemy like omen killer right here who not only dodges but also can catch up to you well obviously it's not the best because that's how you get your ass killed right so you don't want to do that mistake because you see, it's just too slow from medium to close range, especially if you're against a fast enemy. And now, let's go to my number four, Roiling Magma. The only reason why this is number four is because the top three are basically boss spells. Now, if this could be in a boss, this would be like probably the best. But unfortunately, this is after the boss spells, the most efficient spell in the game bar far now notice it does an aoe attack it lures enemies to it and you can also use it to lock on you notice he was after me but then he got lured by the mine and he went after that so i confused him now here we go again you see i drop he doesn't really pay attention because he's going to the other direction so this is a spell i would personally use against crowd control more than one enemies at once something like this or against harder enemies if you can make a perfect trap like this from back and from front but even then you really need to remember like what the hell are you doing here because i do want to express the fact that this is for crowd control to save FP and kill many enemies at once. All right, and now we go to the boss level spells. Obviously we got Stars of Ruin here. I'm just demonstrating here. Now, the amount of FP this takes, I would personally not use it that much. I mean, you can do basically with the Great Gleamstone Shard, same amount of like damage with less FP use. Now the good thing about this is that it has 12 homing projectiles which allows you to move freely. Good thing to remember. And now we go to my number two spell, Comet Azure. Now this would be number one if there wouldn't be Meteor of Astel. But Meteor of Astel is just so much better. But if you have a single target, a single target, 
like let's say a slow boss this is the spell you want to use now obviously you can use this also against uh, harder enemies but the amount of FP it uses really is not worth it when you can use other spells that uh, are just more efficient that's how I would put it and you see the loading time for this spell also not the best possible now here we see again against omen killer you see the amount it takes to load the spell and if he dodges you must be really lucky if he comes back to the beam because if he would just go from the side you would be dead which brings us to my number one spell which is meteorite of astel obviously now look at this carnage left right center all over dead this is the major difference if you're in a boss fight and the boss and the boss gets staggered this is what you want to use now unfortunately the range on this not the best possible but if the enemy gets hit even once it's fucked it cannot get back into the game because it will just get staggered and staggered and staggered and just hit and hit and hit over and over again now let's see what it does against omen killer you will notice the same thing not the best range but once the enemy gets into it that's it they are basically walking into a minefield so that's why that's the best i think also it's very important to remember how you use each sorcery for these top six that i use and now i'm very comfortable with only using them is the fact that each one of them plays a crucial role at any given situation for example great glintstone shard it does great results you know since it got patched in uh, 103 it now has more range so you can use it for mid range whereas uh, Loretta's great bow is for far greater you know lengths that you need to shoot so that's why now you can use great glintstone shard as you can see here and uh, it does conserve some obviously FP but you can't always kill everything with that unfortunately as you go to new game plus and such you can't kill everything with lord that's great either but look at this range that he has that is an amazing range and if it's not enough to kill it well then you just use a great glimpse on shard and take care of business and here we can just keep going on and on it like these two are for basic enemies and maybe even harder enemies from afar with Lord of Great Bow. But mainly I use these two sorceries for like picking out enemies from a safe range. So Great Glintstone Shard from mid range. From any greater range than that, you go with Lord of Great Bow. Very simple and yet very effective. Now, obviously you have other sorceries with you. But... It all comes down to how do you use each one now you also have to keep in mind even the best game plan doesn't necessarily always work like we see here I'm putting roiling magma traps two of them the first one hits but he runs past the second one if the second one had hit he would have been dead so now I have to change my plan on the fly so I'm using stars of ruin because this is a fast enemy that hits hard so Stars of Ruin allows me to actually dodge while I'm attacking. Because I don't need to really focus on the aim. I just need to focus on my rolling and dodging. And Stars of Ruin, as long as I have the lock on, they will home in and hit. Now here, Loretta's Great Bow would be too slow. Stars of Ruin would eat too much FP. So instead, I'm just using Great Glintstone Shard and just dodging its attacks by sidestepping. And there we go, didn't uh, use a lot of FP and killed the second guy. Now we go again to take out the last knight over here. And now we will try again Roiling Magma. Now if, like I said, even the greatest plan can go wrong. But if the plan goes right, this is what happens. Now I'm using three charges. Two would be necessary. But I wanted to be sure, so I put three charges. And there we see it just like boom 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 now when it comes to boss fights if the boss is fast 
I would honestly suggest you use Stars of Ruin because as we can see here on my first try just rolling and just spamming Stars of Ruin I am doing very good here because I can focus on what I need to do and I don't need to focus on aim so much I can just focus on dodging and there we go like how fast was that like 30 seconds and that was it now then there are harder enemies at which point you have to like consider what is the spell to go for example I use stars of ruin here to just show you it is effective against other enemies also but the amount of time it takes to kill this guy is it really worth it if you could use another spell to achieve the same thing so now let's try that with Comet Azure now obviously Comet Azure has a lot of negatives but it has one great positive which is if you hit your target and it's a slow target you will just drain his health bar super fast that's why it is very great against Blood Mock. It will just like drain its health. Now, let's try the same thing with Meteor at Avastel. Now, obviously, range, not the best. You see, we're not even hitting now. But it creates a barrier between us and the enemy. So as it's getting closer, it's just getting bombarded. And by the way, like anyone coming from the side, you're also killing. So you can't kill everyone, but it will kill like anyone coming straight from the side and now here you want to switch strategies you don't want to use that much FP so just switch back to Great Glimstone Shard and just pick this guy up you don't need to waste that much FP so for each situation there is the own sorcery needed for that now here I'm going to use Golden Vow just to get a little bit boost now from my understanding Golden Vow gives you 20% on attack and 10% on defense or something like that around those numbers so we use on a single target great glinstone shard now we're going to use roiling magma now keep in mind I am no scoping here because if you actually aim at the target and you manage to hit the target then you're not doing a mine attack so you're not you don't have the mine then you just have a single hit and that's not good that's not what you want so you don't want to lock in you want that mine to be there to lure them in into a trap and then you get a bunch of enemies now if you get three enemies and the use is like I don't know 40 FP well then you have to divide that 40 FP with three correct and uh, here we go again so my point is you conserve enemy with uh, excuse me you conserve FP by killing many enemies now again like I said previously even the best plan can go wrong and then you use Great Glimstone Shard to kill the one guy who came after you. But there are still, I believe, three or four guys there left. So we try again. Let's see, there were four guys actually. Now, if all of these four will go there. Let's see. Boom. Four with one shot. So, again, I want to stress the fact that there is a place for each one of these sorceries it just depends on the situation like right here I need to attack from far away I'm not sure if Glimstone Shard will first of all even kill these guys with one hit and second of all reach there so I'm using Loretta's Great Bow whereas here Roiling Magma is enough to lure this guy in and keep his attention off me but here a great Glimstone Shard will be just what I need so these are the six spells that I use uh, sorceries excuse me and as my seventh spell I use an incantation golden vow these are the ones I suggest you guys use a lot of people would say well what about like Rani's Dark Moon well first of all Rani's Dark Moon uses two slots and Roiling Magma uses one slot and is five times more effective at least when it comes to what it does and you have to also keep in mind not only the memory slots but um, how much damage how much FP and the loading time for the sorcery while you're using it in attack all right thank you guys this was a little bit of a different uh, video but I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you all have a nice day peace out from me see you in the stream bye bye